Gotta love Minifig Co's great packaging. Right, today we're gonna to be printing with the Servo Innovators, the most advanced pad printer in the world. We're gonna be printing some Legos thanks to Minifig Co. We already made the fixtures. Next up, we're gonna to have to make some cliches using the TTN cliche laser. We're gonna show you how, come with me. The benefit of the TTN cliche laser are the registration plates. This assures the center every single time on the ink cup for the image. And so Nick, can you show how that's put on there? Now we know that this is the center of the ink cup image every single time. So the Minifig Co. sent us two color image here. What we've done is we've broken into two different images. First color and then the second color. What that's gonna allow us to do is put these individual images on this plate over here. We pulled the base plate out of this machine and put the cliche on it. So now we're ready to print. Let's go mix some ink and put the ink cup on this plate. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when we post new videos. This machine's currently set up to print these highlighters. What we need to do is we need to switch out these fixtures with our Lego fixtures. These Lego fixtures are done using pins and magnets. A quick switching of every single fixture. So now that we have all of our fixtures done, it's time to set up the cliches and everything else so we can print. So we've got this machine fired up now. It's perfectly running, ready to go to 1,500 parts per hour in multi-colors, one to six colors. There we've turned our drying system on, which will help speed up the drying process between colors. Here we are printing without a delay, and the operator can barely keep up. Since the operator could not keep up, we decided to program a delay into the system so the printing speed matches the load and unload speed. So here we've uh, shown that we can pick up an image on the cliche plate in another place and deliver it onto the actual part standard right out of the box. For fun, we thought it would be interesting to show our Azon Edge digital printer printing the same part so you can see the difference between pad printing and digital printing. Many LEGO enthusiasts believe pad printing is superior because the print is not raised. While some LEGO printers have embraced the digital printing due to the speed and detail they can achieve while printing. This printer shows us printing only one part, but a fixture can be made to contain a hundred or more parts which can all be printed at one time. The best part is each one can be different and the colors are endless since the printing uses CMYK. 
All of our inks are EN71 compliant for the toy industry, including our Azon digital printing ink. Here we can see the pad printed part on the left and the digitally printed part on the right. Notice the difference in the detail of the print. We printed this digital part using a medium quality setting at 1400 DPI. Our Azon printers offer four distinct quality settings allowing printing up to an industry leading 2880 DPI for extremely high quality image reproduction. We are here in Valkenshoorn, Netherlands getting done printing with the two color TTN Servo Innovator. We want to give a special thanks to TTN for allowing us the use of this machine, as well as Azon Printer for digitally printing our Lego brick. Also, we couldn't do this without the support of Minifig Co. Thank you, Minifig Co. for providing the bricks and design. For more about their offerings, we will link to them below. Also, a special thanks to Marabou Inks, which supplied the pad printing portion of the ink. All inks, including the digital ink used in this process, are EN71 compliant for use in the toy market. The purpose of doing this is to show the speed and accuracy of the Servo Innovator and the detail that can be achieved with the TTN Cliché Laser in combination with the Wild 50 printing plates. So we pad printed the Lego. We digitally printed it. We will put some detailed video and pics in the following slides. There are clear advantages to each method, which we will also comment on below. What do you think? Provide your thoughts below and please don't forget to like and follow. Also, if you want to see more printing or have specific questions on printing, let us know below. Thanks for watching.